In her life, Ellie Mayday transformed. She grew up as Ashley Luther on a farm near Aylesbury, Saskatchewan, and became a trailblazing model and health advocate. She embraced her curves and encouraged other women to love themselves too. At age 23, she began to experience severe pain. She was dismissed by doctors and told to lose weight. But she kept fighting for answers. I didn't expect to be given cancer at 25. And, uh... Like, your whole world just flips upside down. She was diagnosed with a rare form of ovarian cancer. On Friday, she died five years after the diagnosis. Her friend, Jessica Tetu, says her beauty has left its mark. She was just the kindest, most uh, inspirational, wonderful human you would ever meet. And when she walked into a room, everybody just kind of lit up, you know, that's just, she had the best sense of humor and she would just make everybody feel comfortable and, and you couldn't help but smile when she was around. Mayday's closest friends say it was her family who shaped her. And thanks to her determination, she found success as a model in New York City. While living with ovarian cancer and often undergoing intense treatment, she kept working. And she shared her journey on social media, never shying away from the ups, downs, or brutal realities. Through this, she became an advocate for more funding and research. Up to 80% of the time, the disease will recur. Um, and statistics are terrible. Like 56% uh, of women will not survive the first five years after diagnosis. So it just really showcases the need for funding into research. Mayday became a strong role model for people around the world. Her friends, family and fans have been devastated by her death. But she wouldn't want us to, to hurt. That was one thing I knew about her. She wouldn't want us in tears. She wouldn't want us, you know, losing sleep over it. She would want us to smile and live life to the fullest. And that was just how Ashley lived every day. Now that she's gone, Mady's friends and family hope others will follow her example, loving themselves and their bodies and advocating for better treatment and awareness for ovarian cancer. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Regina.